I think when people typically think of the digital divide, they think of people having access to the internet versus people who don't. Everybody's walking around with a smartphone. Many young people of color, their smartphones is their only way to access the internet. So it's not so much about having access to the internet. However, we find that how you're using that access is very different. One of the amazing things about young people of color is they are innovators of technology. Young people of color in particular are going to create platforms that no one else is addressing because they are the experts of their communities. So we need to make sure that every young person has access to the tools to solve the problems of our future. Technology really is not the future, it's the now. It really has seeped into every sector of every industry that you can imagine. And so I think that what we're doing is we're really addressing the knowledge divide. Hack the Hood is an Oakland-based nonprofit and we engage youth of color in technology throughout the Bay Area. Our core offering at Hack the Hood is a six-week boot camp, pairing young people one-to-one -one with the local small business in their community and having them build a website for free. These businesses are not on Yelp, they're not on Google Places. So Hack the Hood is able to up-level the skill level of young people and also provide a huge economic boost for local small businesses in their community. We know that six weeks is not nearly enough time to really move young people on the next step of a really firm trajectory. So we're piloting our first year-round model this year. We don't, unlike many tech organizations, focus just on coding. We really start with young people's strengths, and then through that they can understand that technology is a lens, and you can look at your future through that lens and think about how you can use technology to amplify it. What do you like the most about tech? Um, I don't know, like, I guess just like creating websites for other people. There are some more reserved students who are really interested in diving more into the coding, and there's other young people that want to be bloggers, photographers, that want to be videographers, that are chefs and want to release an ebook. <laughs> And so Hack the Hood really gives young people a very robust 21st century curriculum that consists of everything from understanding your social network to project management to public speaking. We pair them with local mentors and really allow them to start connecting the dots between their lives and the role of technology. The core of our youth who sees a lot of pain, they're survivors. And but they're so full of joy. They want community, they have dreams and aspirations. I want to be there for those young people so that they don't make the decisions that are going to make the struggle even longer. I just like the fancy terminology. <laughs> My work at Hack the Hood is really a dream come true. I've always been someone who cared about people who I thought were unseen and underdeveloped. I'm from Oakland, California. I grew up in the hood, but I went to a very affluent school. So I spent my days being one of few black people, and I spent my nights being in a predominantly black neighborhood. In many ways, I believe that really shaped the work that I do today because I've always been able to navigate through different communities and understand that there's wealth and knowledge in both of those communities. It's imperative that we make sure that every young person really has access to these tools. Having a diversity of voices that are in the decision-making process are going to allow a diversity of solutions to come through. What you see when you bring together young people of color will result in apps to address police brutality, will result in apps that affect immigration rights and different issues that folks aren't understanding. Going into it, I was really nervous because I didn't really know a lot about technology, but they like help you in the process of building a website and you feel comfortable asking any questions that you have. We learn about different ways that technology influences our communities and the different kinds of corporations out there like social enterprise. They really help youth get involved with technology and even in their community. It haunts me at night when I see people not having access to things that I feel are their birthright. So you're gonna bring that home? 
The day-to-day -day reminder of that easily is my daughter because I'm always thinking about not just her but her generation that are going to have to inherit this planet. And so we've just got to do a better job and we've got to empower this next generation with the opportunity to live in the world that they really deserve to live in.